Hi guys, today I am going to show you something that I have been very excited about. Uh, it's something that I have wanted to have for the last three years, so pretty much since I started my curly hair journey. Um, I've got a new hair dryer diffuser. So those of you that have been following me for a while, particularly over the last couple of months, uh, will have seen in my videos that I have been using a sieve to dry my hair. I did borrow the Gamma diffuser off my friend, uh, but she then wanted it back. So I had to make do with a sieve. And then the other day I just took the plunge. I was just thinking it's a worthy investment. Um, it's something I've wanted for years, like I said. It just seems like it would be worth the money. So. I gritted my teeth and I bought the Xtaver Black Orchid Diffuser. So this is the box it came in. Um, it took me a while to work out how to open it because I thought this bit slid out. Turns out it's a little flappy box. It does come with a little black ring, which after reassuring my husband I wouldn't lose, I've now lost. Um, so yeah, that's the box it came in, and I will show you now, this is what it looks like. Now you can probably see, um, I've had to use the silver duct tape to attach it to my hair dryer. Um, my hair dryer's nozzle is 55 milliliter, milliliters? 55 millimeters, so five and a half centimeters. I think the nozzle was something like 52 millimeters, so it's slightly smaller. So I was a bit gutted about that, but I turned to a Curly Girl Facebook group and they said you could get like adapters in that. But having just forked out something like 48 pounds something, I didn't really want to then have to spend more money. So I just duct taped it. And you can see it's holding, it's gone a little bit loose, uh, so I might need to get some Gorilla Tape or something, but yeah, anyway, this is what it looks like. You can see it's pretty big, if I demo it in my hair, it's pretty massive, given I've got a big head with lots of hair. It's got these really good, long, almost like finger-like prongs, um, and it's also got a nice deep sort of bowl to it as well. So what I'm going to do now is scoot along. Let's try this wizardry of filmmaking. I'm going to put here how I use this diffuser whilst I explain my routine that I did. So I started off by washing my hair with my Lust shampoo that you will have seen me mention in a few of my other videos by now. Um, it's just a really rich, nourishing, moisturising shampoo, which is weird giving it a shampoo, uh, but I find it really moisturises my hair. Um, I then conditioned and detangled using the Aldi volume conditioner because I, that's another product I love. Um, then I brushed through two pumps of the Coconut Curl Booster because that gives my hair really amazing slip and it's also really lightweight so it doesn't weigh my curls down. I then, using my new trick of flipping my head sort of like this more gently as opposed to just flipping it side to side. Um, I raked and scrunched in some purple super drug extra firm hold mousse um, and I sort of gently as I was raking it I was unsticking my hair from my scalp. Then I scrunched in a small amount of the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel for hold and to sort of smooth down any sort of frizzes that were trying to escape. Then I diffused my hair using my black orchid diffuser um, and then once it was dry I fully dry which I was able to do using this diffuser I didn't have to sort of dry my hair partially I was able to fully dry it I then scrunched out the crunch using a bit of the coconut capillary argan serum which is amazing for scrunching out the crunch because it's so lightweight but moisturising and it just smooths down any frizzies that were trying to escape and it leaves my hair feeling really soft, really shiny and just amazing. So I think 
my little sort of demonstration of using the black orchid should have finished by now so now let's get on to my thoughts obviously like I said it's something like let's round it up it's about 49 pounds for this diffuser um, so it hurt a little bit to fork out that amount of money because obviously as we know by now my whole sort of thing is budget-friendly products and routines however I might be wrong but I think this is what professional hairdressers use in salons um, and it's not something that I'm just going to use once and discard hopefully this diffuser will last me a good good long while if not forever um, so you've got to sort of think of the pounds per use so say I use this diffuser 100 times let's round it up it costs 50 pounds that works out as 50p per use I had the math in my head then and I just forgot it. Either way, the more you use it, the more sort of worth the investment it is. Let's leave it at that. What I love about this diffuser, like I mentioned, it's got these really big, long prongs. So when I'm diffusing, particularly, say, the underside of my hair, I'm able to get the bowl right up against my roots. And because I like to diffuse my roots first and then move on to the mid lengths and ends, because that sort of I find helps increase the volume as well as like reducing the frizz and stopping my ends from getting too dried out that sort of enables me to get my roots as dry as I can get before I need to move on to the next part so I was really happy with that I also really like the how deep the bowl is so I will admit I was a little bit sort of not disappointed but a bit surprised because I've imagined it to be bigger so when I first took it out of the box I did think oh maybe this isn't gonna be quite big enough for all my hair but then the first time I used it it all sort of all the little sort of sections work together basically and I am able this demo I'm able to get a decent chunk of my hair into the diffuser in one go so when I'm coming to the end of drying my hair and I'm just sort of scooping my hair up and getting all that sort of bounce and sort of a little bit of shrinkage back in I'm able to do that quite quickly because I can get more hair than I would think into the bowl it is sort of deceptively bigger that footage that I just showed you uh, what day is it today it's Monday today and I filmed that on the Saturday Saturday morning so this is day three hair let's say you can see if I move forwards a little bit the curls are still fairly defined I've got a little bit of fluff and frizz going on but I usually do as my wash week progresses and I didn't protect my hair last night uh, because I couldn't be bothered so given that you can still see that the curls are holding fairly strong and they're also because I'm able to get these nice long fingers up into sort of towards my roots you can see that the curls are still starting fairly sort of high up they haven't dropped as much as they have do when I air dry or for example when I was using the sieve so like I said it's the duct tape is coming off slightly um, and this is after I've used it four times three or four times can't quite remember um, and I have already had to re-tape it on once, so I'm a bit, not annoyed, but it's a bit of a shame that I am sort of having this sort of struggle with it. Um, I have seen mentioned uh, Gorilla Tape. I think I've mentioned that already in this video. I think I'm going to have to invest in that because even though I only have my hair dryer on medium, I don't use hot, sort of high heat it still gets quite warm so it's obviously starting to sort of melt the glue on the tape quite quickly massive bee just flew past <laughs> but yeah all in all I would say that the Xtava black orchid diffuser it's not a particularly budget friendly product because it is nearly 50 pounds but it is a worthwhile investment if you are going to be using it 
every day. Just make sure you haven't got an apparently huge hairdryer like me. So, I think I've said everything I need to say. I've said the positives and the negatives of my new toy. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there because I can't think of anything else to say. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments if you've got this diffuser and what you think of it. As always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share and I will see you soon. Bye bye!